Right here at the 2013 Mr. Olympia, standing next to the two-time 212 Olympia champion Flex Lewis Flex. All this time, a whole year, traveling, working hard. How do you feel right now? Tell me. Over the moon. Over the moon. This means everything to me. I've, uh, oh, I mean, to win it once was amazing. To, to win it twice, slid the fight. And I think that, um, you know, me coming back here with uh, a bit, a bigger and better package than I brought last year, um, with the uh, minuscule off season I did have, um, you know just goes to show that if I really had a longer off season what could I bring in but that's not the point at this point in time I'm over the moon for having this I work my butt off for it I value it because of the ups and downs I've had this year and again like I said you on stage you know three weeks ago I couldn't even put my socks on let, let alone you know go hardly go to the gym so if you want something you know you get off your ass and go and get for, go for it in life you know now how is it with being a champion, there's so much more pressure of you know, and everybody's coming after you. How was that for you? I thrive on pressure, even though when I was uh, an amateur um, and I'd done the junior ranks under 21, each and every show that I'd done, I progressed up and I'd, I'd won. So I knew I, different people from other countries wanted my, you know, wanted my title. So I actually liked the feeling of, of having people chasing me. Um, also, I have been in the situation where I was actually chasing that title too, so I was hungry, but then I'm still as hungry as I was chasing it, as I am now that I've got it. Just like Wednesday, last Wednesday, I was talking to uh, Kevin English, a former 212 or 202 Olympia champion, who said that he will come here and dominate this show. Did that fire you up even more? Oh, I did. Um, I, I got told by a couple of people who watched the interview, and... Um, even Neil said, I don't know why you're getting fired up about it, but it motivates me, you know, it, it definitely sparked uh, something off in my mind and that was, you know, pause for pause up there, whatever it was. Um, you know, again, I, I'm a true professional. I don't get angry at that thing, that, that particular event, vengeful return back a bad word. And I'm a, I'm a, I feel like I'm a humble champion. I handle my words right, say what I need to say. But, um, you know, again, I do, do my talking on stage and you can do all the talking you want, but it's just like in the ring, you've got to back it up. So Absolutely. And I, and I know you, uh, since you started coming up as a little boy almost, you know what I mean? And I also know what it takes to uh, uh, be a champion, to come and repeat. It's, just, it's more than just being by yourself. There's, there's a whole bunch of people. you got a great coach standing right next to you, Neil Hill. Neil, how does it feel as a coach that's being with this man for ten years. Uh, 10 years now now tell me how you feel right now I mean obviously I'm very very proud um, from the very first time I saw Flex on stage it was his first ever show he did and at that particular time I'd been involved with the industry for about 15 years and I'd never seen anybody who had that magic that you know that real gift of course obviously you will never be able to get to your full, full potential unless you put all the work ethic and drive and determination into it but he had those lines and he had something different but more than anything he had like charisma he had a charisma that you wouldn't expect from a, a young you know young man at that age but more importantly for somebody who's never been on stage before i'm very proud of flex for many reasons and i feel that our sort of our friendship or our coach relationship is you know way deeper than that you know i, I love for each other other. we speak there's never a day that we don't never speak to each other in, in some way or another so of course I'm very proud but this is just the start of it I, I know that it's not just for the fact that what he's done here today is that he's got a big big future in front of him you know this is just the start he's only probably reached about 20% of his potential as far as I'm concerned well, that's a lot of shoes to fill if you ask me what's what, what's what's the plan now what's next um, what's next as I know is they've, they've brought out the 212 class at the Arnold Classic and as you know, Rich won the first ever Arnold Classic, and I would love to be the first ever 212 Arnold Classic winner. So you're definitely going for the, for March. So I'm no, no Sheru Classic in, in next week. Uh, next, or well, the next plan after this would be the Prague show, and then rest up, enjoy a little Christmas with the family back in Wales, and really, again, I can't have a tremendously big off season and rebound because I'm not going to make weight. Right, right. Truth be known, um, it is what it is, and the game plan is just again have a nice Christmas and then start. Start the uh, off-season pre-contest uh, after the Christmas time, isn't it? After Christmas, so we were eight, we're about eight and a half pound up this year compared to last year, and I feel that you know we 
brought a package which was equally conditioned as to last year. I think it was crisp. You know, the added fullness, you know, and size on his frame is just exaggerate his lines and structure. Uh, and like you said, that we can't have an off season because if we do, we're, we're going to really struggle making weight. It was pretty tough this year. So obviously next year, it's going to be even harder, most definitely. Well, we all proud of you. I know I'm very proud of you because I've seen you come up. I've seen you chase the champions. I've seen you take over the title, and I've seen you defending it. So I'm proud of you, and that's why I'm going to let you go ahead and get something to eat. Yeah, man. For Neil Hill, Flex Lewis's coach, and Flex Lewis, new 212 champion, I'm Dennis James for FlexOnline.com. <laughs>